Hey y'all, uh, this is an initial case setup and I just wanted to show the smile view um, is actually pretty cool, shows her end result. Um, but I think these canines still look a little too prominent. Um, so we're gonna take that off and then I'll show some of the modifications that I do. Um, I'm going to add retention attachments on her molars uh, because she is missing premolars and I want to make sure we have plenty of aligner retention and anchorage. And I'm going to be changing this multiplane attachment. Um, but let's take a look at the canine. So uh, we can see how this canine is root torquing, uh, which uh, generates this appropriate attachment for that type of movement. However, that's a really tough movement to have the root go all the way from mesial to distal. So I'm going to go ahead and work with the 3D controls. So I'm going to find what type of movement I want to do, which is crown angulation. And I'm going to click that down. So when I decrease that, the tooth movement indicator goes away. So that's great and then that looks fine to me from the buckle. I might want to see about um, expanding this premolar a little bit more so the canine doesn't look so prominent. Uh, that is a separate story. So then I'm going to go features and take that attachment off. But wait a minute. Ah, so there were two types of movement planned in this ClinCheck, not just the mesiodistal root torque that I eliminated, but also just rotation. So, uh, of course, only one type of attachment can be on a tooth at a time. Hence, good reason for looking at all the different vectors a tooth is moving. So now that I can see that I would need, even without the root torque, I would need a rotation attachment, I can then go to the tooth and I can change the amount of rotation if I want to, or just leave this alone and make a comment to add optimized rotation attachment to number six to ensure that I have the right attachment. And then once I have an attachment to guide that movement, this tooth movement indicator will go away. So I'm gonna be going through similar edits, looking at this other canine, reducing the angulation going to features, eliminating that attachment, and then going through and looking at what type of movements were added to that, as well as just using the 3D controls while I have here to add retention and anchorage attachments because we always want two sets.